We have gathered here today to mourn the loss of Peter Burke's hair. <laughs> All right, cheers. <coughs> My dad's feeling a little tense, okay? He's been emotional about this whole journey, so I figured we'd have fun with it. It's a Friday at the time of filming, and uh, we're heading towards five o'clock, so I think it's time for some celebratory Prosecco to say goodbye to Peter Burke's hair. Peter, would you like to do us the honors? He's on his way. It's like the condemned man's last drink. Yeah. This is your last drink with hair. It's happening. I didn't get you proper champagne, but Prosecco's always a delight. Next best thing. It's bread and butter. I like bread and butter. Who doesn't like bread and butter? Literally, bread and butter? It's classic. Okay. I'm scared. I always get scared. I'm gonna, get... I'm gonna go over here so you don't hit me. It's coming, it's still scary. <laughs> All right, Father, cheers to you. Oh, we need a second glass. <laughs> the weird thing when you pour the bubbles is they always like fizz down, you know? No bubbles for Elton Melton. I think mom probably needs some because she's about to get a whole brand new husband. How are you True. feeling? Uh, neutral. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somewhere there's a follow-up gift of some very expensive, very new age hair transplant method that I'm always setting you. No, you wish. Stay tuned a for a later video. A toupee, perhaps. <laughs> Cheers and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. What do you think, Elton? Are we shaving Grandpa's head, Elton? Yes. You're going to be the only furry man left in the house. Oh. <laughs> Now don't hit his ear and take his ear off. Exactly. <laughs> I was just joking. I was just trying to freak him out. All right, now that we've had some bubbles, it's time, you guys, you see why we're all here. I'm shaving my dad's head, okay? Now, he's probably going to try to be dramatic. He's been losing his hair for the better part of a decade, as most men his age do. He's been grasping for dear life to the final tussles. <laughs> my long walks. Long, flowing locks. We have been hearing, can you attest, Mom, about him shaving his oh head for gosh. years. Oh my gosh, years. 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 There, well, there's and there, there's a, we're done. There's a big <laughs> difference between talking about it theoretically and going about it in practice. I could talk about jumping out of an airplane. You don't see me with a parachute on at the edge of the plane. Yeah, but nobody's going to randomly push you. Like, you, you're losing your hair rapidly. Show them the top. We have to get a good before. Show them the top. That's where it's really lacking. There we dun, go. Dun, yeah. Dun. So we're leaving for LA in a week, which is for the best. This is actually, I'm really happy at this point that I'm blind because like, I don't want the jump scare of seeing my dad bald. I'm going to be honest. My mom only has to deal with it for a week. And if it's bad, we'll make him wear hats until we leave. <laughs> so mean. But you have been wanting to do this for years. We're looking at photographs of different. We must pop some photographs. Well, we off. will admit we did the like Snapchat bold thing. It was not good. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming it was just the filter. This is why I had to liquor them up first. The little bubbles, loosen them up. But I think it was just the filter, and there's always hats, and you never know if you're lucky, some of it might grow back. Even better, could grow back stronger. Who knows? And in solidarity, in a few days. I'm gonna completely, completely, completely change my hair, but we'll get to that later. Are we ready? Also, why didn't you book a barber appointment for after this to get it properly cleaned up? Because um, I thought you guys knew what you were doing. Why would you think that? I did go out and buy this just, just for this though. My dad put a four guard on it. What is it called? It's I don't know what it's called. It's like number four to start with. Okay. And he just showed me which how we think I might potentially eat. may not cut any hair off, which would be perfect. It'd be done. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't make an official appointment after to get cleaned up, but such is life. We'll see. It's Friday night now. No one is open now. Um, also, I have, for the record, shaved a head at least once before. I shaved Ricky Dillon's head, and I've cut people's hair, like I cut Jeff Wittick's hair. I think I cut Joey Grisepa's. I definitely dyed it. Like I've done hair. I, sh I, I, I did my old hairdresser's hair, I shaved her hair. <laughs> okay. I think we should, should we turn you to the side? So let's put you on the sock, kind of tilted this way. So you know how to use this, right? 
I think so. I go like this? No. No. Go like this? Yes, I okay. think so. <laughs> you think we would have watched a video first or something? We didn't. This is fun. Are you ready, Mom? I'm all ready. Are you watching? Yeah. Do you have your Prosecco in hand? I have. Hey, Nick, <laughs> what happens if like this thing gets caught in my hair and starts pulling my head and you need to jump up quickly? Well, I'll jump up quickly. Dad, that's how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ready to rumble! Oh my god, I'm getting nervous. Are you ready, Dad? No. It's not gonna hurt, right? I don't know. Is anything happening? Uh, anything I think happen? so, yeah, a little bit. Keep going. I think it's gonna take a while. <laughs> I was hoping it would kind of just fall out. Keep like, going. kind of fluff off, you know? Uh, like, dead skin. You can go to a shorter car if you want. Is that not cutting much with me? No. Okay, so let's put a shorter gun. How do you feel, Neve? Uh, I'm getting nervous now. No, you're getting nervous. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell him. <laughs> no. She's not nervous. Pretty. Okay. Everything's fine. It's gonna look great. Wait, to clarify, I go like this. I can't see. Okay, I can't either. <laughs> it looks the right way to me. I can't see you. Okay. All the hairdressers watching this are screaming. Okay. I see some coming off. Do you want it all shaved off or do you just want it really short at the side? <laughs> Is she regretting it now? <laughs> <laughs> Is she instantly regretting it? No, it's okay, keep going. You know, I'm starting to think it's actually gonna look cool. Like not after I do it, but after a professional does it. I guess we could have put a towel around Dad's outfit. Yeah, he's gonna, you're gonna be really spoofy. It's a lot more work than I thought. I thought it was gonna kind of, like I said, like, like fall, fall off, off like dead skin. I know. <laughs> Do you wanna go to the two? two? Yeah. We've been here for many moons because he's slowly making us go from four. Now we're finally at one. What do you think, Neve, so far? I think it's gonna look good. Right? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, duck. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Yeah. <laughs> we are officially at the shortest guard. So, he hasn't even touched it yet. He hasn't opened his eyes, he hasn't touched it. So we're at the shortest one. This I love this texture, don't you? Yeah, it's oh, great. It's so satisfying to touch. Mm -hmm. like, My head is not like <laughs> It's like a dog. Okay, so we've gotten down to the shortest with the guard. This is where, this is where we are. This is how we did. My mom helped me a little bit. I'm now gonna give him his glasses. He is still yet to feel it or look at it. So my mom can kind of give. I like it, I do. Yeah, I do, I like it. Very clean, very clean. Now I think it just would mean like the, the, the beard needs to be trimmed or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Do you wanna go down like without the guard? Or do you like it as is? Yeah, I think for the moment. Let's do it as is. Yeah. Would you like to touch it? <laughs> How clean does it look? It's not patchy. Yeah, it's not bad actually. I think it looks. When good. you shave, when you trim your beard, like you can kind of go in and get. But I think it, I think we did a good job. Yeah, I think we did a good job. Ugh. Ugh. This is kind of weird. I feel like Rory's belly. <laughs> <laughs> in the summer when he would get shaved. I love that texture. Who's Rory? Rory was our family dog. Should I go look in the mirror? Yeah, you yeah. should go look in the mirror and trim your beard up. So you go in the mirror just to look Then you'll hear me scream. Well, we're gonna have to come with him, Mom. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking we probably should have made him a strong gin and tonic before he looks, but it's too late now, so come on in. Hands are closed. I'm not sure I am ready for this. Here we go. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened to my head? <laughs> Welcome you look like the movie stars now that have their heads shaved. I don't know about that. Welcome to life as a senior citizen. <laughs> Yes. 
Okay, well, why don't you take over from here and then we'll show the end result. You could take some time to digest and to clean up. So my dad's been bald for a few days. We'll show you a reveal and how he's feeling in a little bit. But when I say reveal, I mean like the few days later reveal. Obviously, you've already seen it. Anyways, I am about to go to Armanet's brand new salon. It's open. I think it opened last week. I'm just so proud of her. I'm so excited. So I can't wait to show you guys that and see it myself. Mom and I are both getting our hair done. She's getting a haircut. I am chopping it to my collarbone and dyeing it dark brown. I'm terrified. There's no going back. Like once I do this, I can't just go back to blonde. It takes years to get to blonde from hair as dark as mine. A lot of damage. So I'm not, I can't do it. So I'm scared. Please send good vibes, but I'm very comfy. Got my pleated little bag, comfy, cozy, fluffy sweater, these like very stretchy, soft pants. Look, when you're sitting at a hairdresser for hours, you gotta be comfy. And then just these boots. It's very fall. I think it'll suit the new brown hair. I'm doing like multi dimensional, so it'll still have lots of different tones in it. We made it to the salon. My mom is getting her hair done, so Armani is kindly filming for me. Mm -hmm. um, I accidentally matched the salon which I love. It was a happy accident. I'm gonna show you guys around the salon later because we've got to get into my hair now. Armini, what are we doing? I don't know, you tell me. Well, are we going dark? I think we should totally do it. I'm terrified. It'll look so good. If I go dark, I can't go red. So. No, it's one or the I would do red first and then go dark. But I think dark would look so good. Like a warm, rich dark. Not too dark. Yeah, so I don't want as dark as my real hair. No, like a dimensional brown. Yeah, so what if we like, we leave my root as it is, Yeah. and then from like the rest of the blonde to maybe like here, we do like a warmer, lighter brown, and yeah. then we start to weave in like some caramels yes. and some from like here down. A dimensional brunette, we yeah. should totally do it. Okay. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to top it to like yeah. It's gonna look so good. I'm terrified. You're gonna have to hold my hand. <laughs> I'm here for you, don't worry. All right, this is the before. It, it needs it needs something new. We need to freshen this up, don't we, Armanet? Yeah. We're going collar round, so like four and a half, four inches, and then maybe yeah. even a different style of bang. So let's get started. Okay, so the dye is in. There is no going back now, thankfully. Armanet's new salon bow offers lattes and like all sorts of other coffees. I'm saying it's like so groggy, it's Monday morning. I'm just so groggy, so this is helping. My nerves are getting more calm, but I'm sure once we start chopping, it'll skyrocket again. Um, but while I sit here and marinate in the brown dye, my mom's gonna give you a little tour of the new salon. This salon is stunning. Somebody signed me up to go there immediately. It has a very beige, warm-toned vibe to the whole space. The color palette is very like browns, tans, creams, off-whites. There's a really beautiful waiting area that has a couch, a coffee table, some seats. The main salon area is just as beautiful as the rest of the place. So beautiful. Okay now, it is time for me to get my hair washed and we all know these are like notoriously uncomfortable specifically as a very petite gal. They never fit me so I always, you guys have seen it so many times. I literally like have to put my feet up on the chair to be able to get my head back. No, this is a game changer. This chair, my legs go up, there is a massage happening. I am comfy, I am relaxed. I don't have to like stretch to get my head. This is insane Armin. That's what we wanted. This is the best part of the part. salon. Exactly. And this then we have a TV up there. No. Then you get to, yeah. There's a TV on the ceiling? There's a TV on the ceiling. This is wild. Do you see that, Mom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw it earlier on. It's, it's wonderful. It's and so you, relaxing. There's like a little outdoor patio. They haven't finished it yet, but there's yeah. an outdoor patio. It's covered. It's going to be heated so people can go and like relax out there while they're sitting. Process. You we killed it. it all. You've been years of trying to make this work. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Well, so what's that gonna happen now? Because you so told me a lot is happening out here. All the dark pieces. As you see, we're pulling it out. This makes me want to sit in a chair. Exactly. This massage situation. Wow. That's what I wanted. And it's not like one of those aggressive, like at a nail salon. You know no. those seats are like aggressively massaging you and it hurts. This is like really relaxing. That's what we wanted, just to keep it as relaxed as possible. 
relaxed as possible. Okay, so we're pulling out the foils, yeah. and then with the remaining blonde that I have currently, what are we doing? We're blending that into the hair. Okay. So basically, the remaining blonde is going to be those light pieces that you have in your brunette hair. Yeah. But we're toning them down and then blending it all out. I have been relaxing in the chair for a while. I'm getting darker. Can you see it look? Yeah. How's it looking? Good. Cool. Okay, I'm dark and now we're gonna do the big chop. Like, the way Arbonne just said it, like she was like, okay, now we're gonna chop your hair off. Like, oh God. chop is done. It looks darker now than it will when it's dry. And it's just below my collarbone in case when it's dry we want to go a little shorter. We haven't touched the bangs yet. I think I'm going to do more like feathery front bang instead of like a heavy blunt front bang. I think that'll be a nice change too. But this is what we're looking like and I will see you when I'm complete. I think the thing that I'm most excited about is that this length my hair will actually probably hold a curl. Whereas for the past like six months if Armin curls it, it's dropped in 30 minutes to dead straight again because my hair is just so heavy, it's so dense and so straight naturally that it's just done. Whereas this length is short enough and light enough that it'll like actually hold a curl again. So I'm excited about that. I feel like a whole new woman. What do you think, Mom? I love it. I think it's, it's so fresh. Okay, so here's what we're looking like straight, which is how I wear it most of the time. But we're gonna curl it now, which will bring out a lot more of the colors that are in there. And hopefully it should now hold. My hair is feeling so freaking thick, like it's unreal. And then we did the more feathery bang instead of the blunt bang that I'm usually doing lately. So what do you guys think? I will show you once it's curled. Okay, this is the end result, like styled in more natural lighting. That is what we are working with. I. Ironically, I know it's closer to my natural color than the blonde, but I do not feel like myself. It's funny how even though I can't see myself, I can like feel that I look different and I feel weird. Like I just don't feel like me. I'm like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, so I think it'll have to grow on me, figurative, figuratively speaking. It will grow on me, literally speaking, but figuratively it has to grow on me. So be nice, let me know what you guys think of it. Mom likes it. I love it. I think it's a, a, a beautiful change. I'm very flattering. Okay, so before I close out this video, I've got to show you the end result of my father. Okay, so this is how he's looking after he cleaned himself up. How are you feeling a couple days later, Peter Burke? I'm a little like Jean-Luc Picard. I don't know what that means. Star Trek reference. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so it's, um, it's, I'm still getting used to it. It's uh, an adjustment. Um, my hair was with me very closely for like 60 years. Not near the end there. <laughs> <laughs> so um, It was leaving you but at the I, end. I, you know, um, uh, it's very nice to like to jump into a shower and not have to worry about like drying hair and all that kind of stuff. Um, people seem to like it for the most part. Every, I've not it. heard one negative comment. Everybody, no. like without prompting, is like, oh my god, he looks so great. He suits it so well. So there you go. And your mother hasn't woken up in the middle of the night beside me thinking it's a strange man and punched me, so that's pretty good. Although the first night we were watching a movie and she did turn and look at him and go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which was funny. Also, in other good news, my hair officially does hold a curl again. Okay, that's it. Back to Molly to tell you about the giveaway I'm doing with Armine. So that's that. Thank you to Armine for always doing such an amazing job and just being just such a sweet human. And I'm so excited for her new salon. I think I'm actually gonna do a giveaway with her to support the salon over on my Instagram. So head over there if you wanna learn the details about the giveaway. And I'll actually maybe write them in the description box below as well. Um, and just support her, her new business. I'm just so proud of her little girl boss moment. It's so beautiful. She did such an incredible job with it. Um, it might be the most beautiful salon I've ever gotten my hair done in. So congratulations to Armine and her new team over at Bow, And check out the details on how to win the giveaway with Bow Salon and Armine. And until next time, you can click over here to watch this video I recently posted about the loss of my guide dog Gallop 
or you can click over here to hear about my guide dog Elton John having to go to the emergency vet in Sonoma. Thanks Elton, you're the best. Okay, bye guys.